Well, hi everyone. Um, I'm just about to take these out of the jar. They're all my pre-decimals that I detected in Adelaide. And, and as you can see, a lot of the gunk has come off and they look quite clean. Um, I'll just try and show you here. There you go. Right. Now that's still the vinegar. Um, they've been in there for a couple of days. And I'll just show you one. And that's all I do. Look at that. Look. There you go. Look how clean that is. No scrubbing, no rubbing. Just wipe off the dirt. Look at that. And that's in the vinegar. Now I'll just show you a, a little thrip. Some of the thrips come up still black others come clean i don't know what it is with them regardless of the year on all the coins some come clean and some don't it's just luck of the draw i think so uh there you see this little thrip hasn't come up too clean uh let me try a shilling Yeah, that'll come up clean with a bit more rubbing. Maybe not so much around the edges where the writing is, but um, as you can see, it's uh, it's coming off. And that's the uh, other side. This little shilling is uh, a bit far worse for wear, but... Um, it has come a lot cleaner than what it was. It's a 49, or is it 48? It's 48, uh, it's a King George anyway. Let me find that florin that's in there. Let's try the florin, a 47 florin. Look at that. Now you're watching this live as I've tipped it out of the jar of with the vinegar. Look at that. Look. How's that? But like I said, it's luck of the draw. Some of them do and some of them don't. Now let me try another shilling. Okay, this one's coming up good. Yep. See, it just depends what soil they were in. So this one's turned out perfect, absolutely perfect. Look at that. And yet the other one, not so good. Look. So depending on what soil this one was in, if I really wanted to get it in cleaner, I'd have to do a, a mix of bicarb and uh, water, just normal kitchen bicarb. Um, some people use lemons. I use vinegar because I've always got lots of vinegar here. But um, you see, this one won't come clean, but it's a lot better than what it was, of course. Now let's try a sixpence. No, that one's still a bit dark too. Yep, you see, that one won't come clean at all. I'll get you the clean shilling to show. See that? That one's not coming clean at all. No. That'll need bicarb too, but I don't bother with the bicarb. They don't have to be clean. Those that come clean are clean. Those that don't, it doesn't matter. They just go in separate jars that I have all the different denominations. And um, I think I, up until now, I've been detecting two and a half years. Not even quite two and a half exactly. But I think I have found, I've lost count, but I think I have found about 30 florins in that time. I found one last Sunday and another one a month ago in Adelaide. You see, this sixpence isn't coming clean either. See that? Let me try another one. Okay, here's a threepence. There you go, a threepence. No, that won't come clean either. And that's a wheat threepence. No, that won't come clean either. I just don't worry about it. If they're clean, they're clean. If they're not, they're not. No, that one's not coming clean either. 
And yet I, I, I do have some uh, threepences and sixpences that have come clean. Look, see, that's just black as. It won't even come clean. Let me see what else is there. Okay, here's another sixpence. And straight away, as soon as I've picked it up, it's, it's come clean. Unbelievable. Look at that. Right, that's come clean. So if I just lay them out here for you to see, and you'll see that um, we've got a clean shilling, a clean florin, and I haven't rinsed these out in water yet, so that this vinegar is a bit grotty. So there's the not clean shilling, and there's a sixpence. And I just picked up a threepence, which I haven't done yet. There you go. This one's come up a bit cleaner. It's one of the oldies, of course, the old King George there. And it's a, it's a real old one. 1914, uh, I think that says. So that's come up reasonably clean compared to others. And, um, sorry, I'll just move this over a little bit so you can see. There you go. And there's another clean sixpence. Oops. Now these other ones are just the, the dirty ones that won't clean up. Nope, that won't clean. Some people use electrolysis, and I do have a little gadget a friend made me to do the electrolysis, but um, oh, it's a bit fiddly, and you can only do one coin at a time. So unless it's something special, really, I haven't uh, taken it out to use. And that little sixpence is um, still dirty. And another threepence. I remember I used to go to the milk bar back in the 60s and get milk and bread. One shilling was enough to buy milk and bread in those days. So there you go. Look, that's what's come out. You've got um, five really clean ones and one not so clean. And then you've got um, five really dirty ones that didn't come clean. And it, it can't be the silver content because some of these are... A, a later issues so some older ones come clean some newer ones come clean so I don't think the year or the silver content has um, a, a big bearing on the difference of that and uh, that's that's the vinegar that's the vinegar there that was clean yesterday and you saw it in the jar in the photo that I posted last night so um, I know this video is a bit longer than what I normally do when I find my finds out in the field but a lot of you wanted to see how they come up the bo the before and after shots so I thought if I do it live here on video you'll see as I'm doing them so that you can see how they come out so I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for looking and uh, see you in my groups or your groups cheers